You know, let me just start out by saying it's so important that we exercise, all of us, right? And so these changes that we're talking about are positive. They're really good. These are physiologic changes because it's your heart uh, preparing for the next time you go out and do something athletic, right? So um, we all are familiar with how the heart rate nicely changes. Um, you can monitor your heart rate through activity and know that the morning heart rate you wake up with reflects how much exercise you're doing. The slower it is, that means you're really doing a great job. You're remodeling appropriately, right? What's going on within the heart is really fascinating as well. There's a heart that's kind of a normal range, normal size, and we measure this all the time. And when we measure the heart, we measure the cavity, the chamber that holds the blood, and we measure the actual chamber itself, the walls or the muscle. And the muscle itself has a certain thickness it's allowed to be, and if you're outside that, we get worried that it's too thick. There's a certain size that it can be as far as the, the cavity, the balloon that holds the blood. And if it gets outside a certain range, of course, that worries people as well. The athlete, however, gets bigger and also gets thicker. And they do that all in preparation for what they're about to be asked to do at a later time. So, um, so the heart dilates, the heart walls thicken, um, and in the absence of anything else, if you're just looking at that, you might think that it was a diseased heart, a pathologic heart. When we um, um, think about athletes, we sort of think of the um, fast jumping sprinter athlete and then the more endurance type who may not be the fastest in a short term but just continues at that speed for very long term. So the, the endurance athlete modifies their heart in a different pattern than say the sprinter short term jumper athlete. And then of course there's the mixed type of athlete as well who has a little bit of changes that, that you know, simulate both of those types of uh, categories. If we think about the Winter Olympics, um, ice skating is one thing that comes to mind where the male uh, athlete is very physical and has to be really strong and is probably doing a ton of weight lifting to be able to do the um, double, double ice skating and lifting and all the things they have to do. But they also skate probably 10, 12 hours in a day and they're getting the endurance activity. So my guess is they're more like a mixed type of uh, remodeling. The um, Endurance is really easy to think of because we have all of the skiers, cross-country skiers that go for hours at a time and uh, they, they have to have the most incredible um, dilatation of their heart. That's probably the biggest of any of the hearts that I would look at. As far as a sprinter or something like that, maybe, you know, the um, uh, bobsled and the downhill and the pushing and the jumping because they're, they're doing a lot of riding, but everything is really boost to get that initial takeoff. They sprint and then they just glide down the rest of the, uh, um, the course. And so maybe they're going to be more like a sprinter jumper.